The biggest challenge this year was that we had so many good participants. They were dedicated and on top of that they were also able to write well, to explain what they were doing and um, bring this enthusiasm across in these sentences. Flavio Donato's essay stood out because of two reasons. There was the extreme high quality of the work. You could immediately see that this was hours and hours of dedicated work, attention to detail. And at the same time, when you read the essay, you are immediately within the story. He manages to bring the enthusiasm that he had across. He manages to show you why he put all these efforts in. My research involves studying the part of the brain that uh, gives us a sense of where we are. So you create a spatial representation of the environment and you can navigate through it. And I study all the different cell classes uh, that participate in this process. And in particular, how they talk to each other, how they make connection with each other during development and how they function to let us uh, create memories and navigate through our daily job. The thing that motivates me in my research is definitely curiosity. Uh, I really want to know the answer to the question that we, that we pose. There is something extremely special inside in the brain because the brain is what creates our experiences and what creates and dictates who we are. So it's fascinating to study something that creates everything else. There is something poetic in that. The research in my essay had to do with a very interesting neuronal population dopaminergic cells in the dorsal raphe nucleus, relatively poorly understudied, and what we came to learn about them is that they're crucial in detecting salient events and also pacing the sleep-wake cycle. For future work, we would like to understand the bigger picture for these cells. We learned that in bulk, they're responsible for arousal and wakefulness, but we would like to know where do these effects get implemented downstream? What are the key brain areas that actually trigger these behaviors? In my research, we, I wanted to ask the question of why we sleep. We know sleep is very important for our ability to think clearly and to form memories. And so I first started to look at how synapses are modified by sleep looking at first making a parts list of the molecules that were changing during sleep and then addressing the mechanism that's active. And what I found was that a process called homeostatic scaling, which had previously been described in culture neurons in vitro, was actually active in the brain during sleep, allowing synapses to become weaker during, during sleep. And this allows for the consolidation of memories. The thing that I really enjoy the most about being a scientist is working with other people, the other scientists. Science brings together an incredible mixture of people from all over the world and with various interests and it's when these people come together that the best ideas come forward. This prize really might help my research because it's one of the few chances for young scientists to actually present their view of the field they're working in. So I think it's one of the few voices that we have to actually say something meaningful in, in a general perspective, not only about the work that we're doing at the moment, but where we actually see our field going. What I enjoy most about my research is going into the unknown and learning something new about the circuit and adding a piece of the puzzle to our un scientific understanding. I think this prize is going to help my research by initiating me into a community of scientists that includes the past award winners and also awardees to come. This prize would help the research by giving visibility to the students and postdocs that conducted the research. They are very happy to read about their experiments in Science Magazine. What really motivates me in my research is by thinking about all of the molecules of life and their amazing coordination that allow for the emergence of complex bi biology. Writing this essay has been a very good exercise and a difficult exercise. It's difficult to compress years of work in a thousand words and I would highly recommend this to all young scientists. Just for the exercise itself, submit and regardless of the outcome, if you do this exercise for yourself it would be useful. My advice for the people that want to submit the research or the essay for the next year prize would be to let their passion bleed through their words. Uh, we all have a very big passion for this job. You don't survive the frustration of the experiments or the daily life in the lab if you don't have a strong passion motivating you. And if you make sure that this passion arrives to the people that read your research or that you talk to, then you're sure that you will be understood and, and supported.